Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tell, and we are back with another episode of Television Today, man. Y'all coming behind the scenes with me and my boy Malk. We are shooting his album cover. So me and him, we've been we've been talking on social media for some time now, bro, and been talking about working. So we finally got the opportunity, man. We running out this dope space. So if y'all want to check it out, I'm gonna put the link right here. It'll also be in the description below. But also too, make sure y'all show some love. He got some stuff coming out. He's a dope R&B artist. I've listened to his stuff personally myself. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if I should do any more videos like this and what some good things y'all could take from it. With that being said, y'all see where we at, man? It's a dope, like 80s, like hotel vintage vibe. So we really finna cook up in here, man. So can't wait for y'all to see the photos, man. Peace. So, you know, we definitely got to start off getting our film right. It's pretty smooth, man. I had shot this at Portrait 800. So I wanted to make sure I get some digitals first before I get everything straight. I also wanted to make sure I set up the scene. So I put a light behind both of them on one beside his foot, like right in front of the lamp and run behind her. Kind of like to bring out the back of her head, but also to kind of like illuminate right behind Malcolm. So it came out pretty smooth. And it was definitely what I was looking for. So this is one of my favorite shots. This actually becomes the album cover of the whole even scene, right? And I wanted to make some play on that phone on the left as well. So within this realm right here, I had brought the lamp closer to her so it could kind of illuminate her. And then I used the natural light from the window and had that brought in. I had one of my small lights that I had and kind of shined it on his hand so his hands can stand out. And I had him stand right beside her with his hand left over right, just to have him more comforting and uh, have him in a sense of protection. Giving him a sense of protection more so. So this is actually one of my favorite shots. Probably my favorite shot of the whole set. So I just really enjoyed the mood it gave, uh, how the scene was set with the microphone and on the couch and both of them look like they're in sync. She's looking at him. And like I said, it really kind of sets the scene. It tells each piece of his single, I believe, and you know, kind of like what he does. Within the vision of this shot, I was just kind of really just going for like the record players behind them. So I wanted them holding vinyls and just being candid with each other. On this vibe, on this corner of the room, I really just like the wallpaper and the lamp in the background. So I wanted them to kind of play around that, right? So I just had more so leaning over the small radio, looking at each other. I wish these came out a little bit better, um, but you guys gonna see in the end for sure. But I wanted him to be a little bit more focused, more illuminated. So um, I know next time I'll uh, compensate for that with light. So. What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all really enjoyed the shoot, man. We got some dope, crispy stuff, man. I can't wait for y'all to see it. I'm gonna let my man come in here and rap real quick. Let him know where y'all can catch him at. And come on, man. I don't know what you about. My boy. Yes, sir. What's up, what's up, what's up? This is your boy, Saint. I'm here with my boy, Tell. I'm about to get ready to drop my first single, Heartbreak Hotel. Um, we just made a movie in here, so we're excited for y'all to see this content. It's gonna go crazy. Bro, the single. <laughs> Crazy man, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I, y'all just need y'all just need to be on the lookout, bro. I'm just telling y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure y'all keep up, keep on the update with my boy music, no and man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, man, we'll catch y'all. Peace. So y'all, the shoot was real dope. Um, I've been really looking into getting more into album covers and single covers and everything. So again, man, big shout out to my homie Saint for even giving me the opportunity of doing it. So let's get into the good, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to what we came here for, you feel me? So we got the first photo, man. I'm really, really digging it. Um, I really liked how uh, they were sitting on the couch. Like I said, the whole space was pretty dope. It was like a four-in-one space. So you could have did different things in one space, which is pretty smooth. It was just like this hotel, 80s vibe. So they had this dope couch in the corner with this lamp. Yeah, I wanted that to kind of uh, bounce off of Malcolm from the background. And then I wanted his girl to be on the couch kind of looking at him because the name of his single called Heartbreak Hotel. So I wanted her to be looking at him 
uh, for like comforting, and he's just looking at her uh, to comfort. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what the vibe it was giving, and I just like the composition of this. It's really pretty dope. This next photo is pretty smooth. It gives me like a Marvin Gaye vibe. I really like the microphone. It was dope and perfect for the vibe and the scene. Just how the look of it is, the old school aesthetic. It's like from the 80s, that, that sort of look. And um, I made him, I told him to give him an impression of him singing, and I got his girl in the back um, with her legs crossed in the back and the right just to give her more so like uh unsettling this one is real dope i really really enjoyed this one um this was actually at the first uh look in the whole set that we did so i wanted to put malk in the background and just have his hand sort of folded uh right over left and then i got her his girl to be the subject of the whole photo uh, because it'd be a heartbreak hotel I got her with a phone, like an old school phone she got to her ear. And I also went in Photoshop and drew up a fake tear and threw that under her eye to give the uh, Heartbreak Hotel effect. So that was cool. I got some lights that was behind her as well to kind of illuminate his hands. Um, so that went pretty well. Actually, this shot too was the shot that was chosen for the single cover. And I'm going to show you all that after I finish showing you the other one. So this was one of the first shots in the first set as well. I think this was the first shot that we took. Um, and this came out pretty good. I was enjoying this one. Um, I just have her looking at Malcolm and Malcolm looking right directly at the camera just to give her kind of looking to him for something. Kind of giving the audience a look to see and uh, go in their head on what uh, is she looking for within him. And you could probably be able to pick that out throughout his music and uh, get different looks from that. So the whole focus within this whole shot right here, I wanted her to turn around and look directly at the camera and I was gonna put the album cover that they choose, I was gonna put that in her hands actually. I didn't end up doing that, but it's a dope shot um, because just when it came to posting it, it, it the, the schedule became a little off and stuff. But um, yeah, it still came out a pretty dope shot. I really enjoyed it. And then this last shot right here, this is one of the uh, last positives that came out. I really enjoyed this one. I wish she was a little bit more in focus because I like how um, she looks in the front cut, but it's just, uh, she's more shallow, um, which I want to have him a little bit more clear too. Uh, but it looks pretty smooth. I do like uh, how it came out as well. I still, I feel like can fit uh, some sort of uh, promo or some sort of branding. I think it looked pretty smooth. I really like the lamp in the back too, um, how it hits the wall and it kind of, uh, highlights her uh, from the back side as well and then this is the single cover photo so this is what they ended up choosing I really enjoyed the font on this it's really dope it kind of gives um, like a 90s early 2000s vibe when I was looking for the font I was looking for something pretty unique but still readable um, like a couple inspos I was looking at I was looking at music soul child um, and I think I looked at, um, I think I looked at Usher's too. Um, but yeah, I was kind of revolving around in that space. And uh, that, came, that gave me some good, uh, good ideas. So I came up with that and yeah. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in and I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Without further ado, man, come back for more, peace.